Blogalogs is an original project by Alison Goldberg and Jen Jamila, where they take content from the internet, put a spin on it, and then bring it to life. For example, a Twitter feud can become a mini opera or an online dating profile turns into an entire game show. What you are looking for in a man is no. not This Friday, Blogalogs is being performed at the Lucy Stern Theater in Palo Alto. Allison and Jen join us live in studio this Welcome. morning. Good morning. Hey. Where did this come from? Were you guys just hanging the out? Internet. The internet. Yeah. <laughs> it came from the internet. It's a scary place. Um, yeah. We were actually reading a blog post. Uh, the title is not appropriate to say on air. Yeah. <laughs> we were reading it out loud, and we thought this should absolutely be performed. And I think we put it on stage about two weeks later, and we learned that it was comedic. Just two weeks later? <laughs> just about two wow. weeks later. Yeah, this is about five I mean, years ago. To me, that just yeah. says natural. That it's, just, it's born to be on stage, and you yeah. two are born to do it. Well, thanks. I yeah. mean, more than anything we'd ever performed, the audience responded to this material, so we wanted to keep going with it. So if yeah. I have, let's say, a horrific Tinder profile, yeah. do you need to ask me. Can we see it? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no, I don't. Um, do you have to reach out and say, hey, I saw your, can I make this into my show? Or do you perhaps anonymize it a bit and then it's all yours? It depends on the material, so yeah. So if we can reach out and ask for permission, we do. But we do perform a lot of anonymous material, okay. so often we don't need to. And we haven't performed anyone's specific Tinder profile, although we do have a Tinder sketch, and we did ask those people for permission. You That's know, the right. internet is slightly voyeuristic anyway. Yeah. You know, because sometimes Sometimes you're reading comments just to see what happens. That's right. So you guys have just taken it to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we really like to recontextualize it. So mm -hmm. if you read something online and you think this has to be a young boy who doesn't know about X Y Z, we'll do it as a bunch of old ladies right. or something like that. So we t we like to sort of catfish the audience and play with what is identity in the digital age. Even the word catfish is something you have to know from the modern times. You know, right. What What does catfishing mean? just means fooling someone into thinking right. they're someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So pretending you're someone that you aren't on the internet. Very and popular thing. There's a lot of comedy <laughs> in there, but you know, when you want when people leave the theater that do you feel like there is a serious tone or message you want them to walk away with? Yeah, yes. we always hear from our audiences that they're laughing the whole time and then it sort of sinks in during the show that the content is actually real. Um, we really encourage people to start thinking about what they're putting out there online because I don't think people consider sort of how it affects other people in a lot of circumstances. Mm -hmm. right. And we're performing a lot of political material this time around as well, so we would like people to start thinking about that. We're performing posts from Breitbart, um, from an alt-right blog, and just getting people to think about, you know, it reads like it's absurd, but people actually said these words. <laughs> now that I've been texting for several years, I really try to limit texting to, like, are you there yet? We need milk. Did you do the laundry? Because if you put anything yeah. with meaning in a text, if you read it in black and white, you lose all the emotion, all yes. the intent behind it. Totally. Right. So I mean, we'd love to look at that in our show and think what could the intent possibly have been and how could this be misinterpreted a million right, different ways, right, right, to get people thinking about that too. What have the yeah. reactions been? They've been yeah. very positive. I mean, as Jen was saying, people, the material really res resonates with them because everyone is on the internet, but also there is a lot of shock because sometimes we do material that's, I mean, often the material is not meant to be funny, and then people have this moment of laughing and then realizing that it's real. So, for instance, Jen was saying we're performing Breitbart on Friday, we're performing an alt-right blog. There's a dating market value test for women, so it's a test women can take to find out if they're dateable. Yeah. Like, how old are you? How horrible. much money do you make? What car do you drive? Well, <laughs> well, well, actually, legs. for women, for it's, women it's only physical. Yeah. So oh, it's we, only physical. Oh, they don't care what the car is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Horrible. So, yeah. So we do it as like two Austrian bodybuilders, I, yeah. and then oh, we won't spoil how it ends, but so we take it really out of context. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard to get it to stage? I mean, how often do you guys just sit down and figure out how to do this? Some pieces are harder than others. Yeah. Sometimes we have thoughts for characters right away, but yeah, we're in the rehearsal room thinking like, what would this be like if it were a pirate or if it were like a scientist or something like that? Yeah, and so we what really works. play with yeah. different characters and scenarios, and then strangely, there's always one where we're like, this is it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, the I internet too, things just last. Forever. Forever. I know, and there's so, endless content. Yeah. Right, right. No, I always tell like the interns here, like whatever pictures, whatever yeah. sentiment, like the first thing your new news director is going to do is Google you. That's right. So think of all that's up yeah, there. Yeah, people do not think about that. No, yeah. I do, I do. All right, I'm Jen Jamil and Allison Goldberg, thank you so much. Thank let's, give, you. let's give our viewers some information. Blogalogs being performed Friday night in Palo Alto. All the information you need about tickets is waiting for you at KTV.com. Look for it in the web link section under the Morning on 2 tab. You'll also find it on our KTV mobile app. Ladies, Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm going to yeah. do that test and see. Oh, what gosh, jump. Please don't. Please don't. It's a real test. It's real. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And everyone fails, really. Oh,